You want to put your dog away? Grab your dog. Grab your dog. Now. Grab your dog. Yeah. Ninety-nine thirteen taser deployed on the dog. If I can get a supervisor. Coco police officer Ken Shedrick arrives on scene, investigating a complaint about an aggressive dog. The black Rottweiler just tried to attack a pedestrian walking in the road here. He tried to bite a small child also. The dog is chained in the owner's front yard, but witnesses say the six-month-old Rottweiler has a history of breaking loose, something Officer Shedrick was about to see firsthand. Shedrick passes in front of the house, down the middle of the street. As he returns to his car, the dog tears off the leash and attacks Shedrick. To defend himself, he kicks down the dog. He continues to charge him. That's when Shedrick draws his weapon. In this situation, an officer has a right to shoot, but Shedrick doesn't. Another officer uses a taser, a non-lethal weapon that temporarily paralyzes an attacker. But the dog quickly shakes off the shock and runs away with the barb still in his back. I know, I thought he was going to take my leg off, my foot off. Shedrick says the dog grabbed his foot, but he didn't suffer any injury. And Animal Control says that's why, when the dog is recovered, he was given back to the owner. Well, it's our, it's our normal operating procedures uh, to return the dog to the owner if it has not inflicted any harm or it doesn't have any prior history with this uh, department. Officer Shedrick feels the dog may not have a record with animal control, but today's incident should be enough to get the dog off the streets. Basically, they're saying they got to wait until he hurts someone but he came to take him in. Yeah, he came after me. The act itself should justify them taking him in. A march demanding education reforms in Chile has descended into clashes and standoffs between students and police. Weapons of choice were mainly rocks, Molotov cocktails and the occasional traffic light. While police counteracted with water cannon and tear gas. Amid the street battles in Santiago were plenty of dogs who seemed more content with playing with the water than taking notice of the protests. This was the first major student march this year, which passed off relatively peacefully, but ended with violent demonstrations. Demos have been going on for years, and education reform has become a key electoral issue ahead of November's presidential vote. Money has been made available in the 2013 budget on financing school loans, but students say it's not enough. They say there are still too many poor public schools, expensive private unis and unprepared teachers. Police department. Yeah. Never three thirty six twenty eight. Sounds like a big dog. Police department, is anybody home?